The universe continues to be an inexplicable and wondrous place, and each new discovery we make reminds us just how little we know. As technology advances with the success of machinery like the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists, researchers, astronomers and anyone else who is interested in what lies beyond Earth are rewarded with new information and gorgeous images. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent astronomical discoveries. The James Webb Telescope proves it can detect alien life. One of the biggest aims of astronomers, researchers and scientists studying the galaxy and the entire universe is finding signs of life, whether that be on other planets or the moons that orbit them. Working under the belief that the existence of water can be linked with the existence of any life form, scientists have continued their searches by concerning themselves with the task of detecting the existence of water on Mars or Jupiter's moon Europa. However, finding water and indeed life outside of our Earth is a very difficult and extraneous task because of the long distances and all the technology that would be required to send a single probe out to find and bring back samples. Using theoretical calculations, astronomers have estimated that there are possibly about 300 million planets with the potential to be inhabited with life in the Milky Way alone. These planets are the same size as the Earth and have similar qualities that lead the astronomers and scientists to estimate that there is a chance that the planets are habitable. Yet, this information can only do so much and researchers must use other tools and methods to glean further insight into these planets and the likelihood of their habitability. One such method is what is often referred to as looking for the biosignature. What this means is that astrobiologists study how starlight interacts with the different planets, or more specifically, the surface or atmosphere of those planets. If the surface or atmosphere of a planet contains evidence of life, the starlight will reveal that through a biosignature. Each time light bounces off a material object or passes through any kind of gas, certain wavelengths of that light will either be contained within the object or gas, while other wavelengths will be emitted back out. This is how anything has colour, for example. Plants are green because chlorophyll keeps the wavelengths of red and blue, but releases the wavelengths of green. The colour that you see is the colour that is not contained within whatever thing you are looking at. In the same way, scientists can guess whether a planet has life or not by looking specifically at the colours that are reflected when starlight hits the surface or atmosphere. A way to think about this is our own Earth. In the first half of its existence, it only had a faint biosignature, because while there was some single-cell organisms of life on its surface, it did not yet have oxygen in its atmosphere. That changed when algae evolved and released oxygen into the air, causing the Earth's biosignature to alter and become much more prominent and visible. Likewise, a planet that develops life or contains life on its surface will likely be detectable depending on the strength of its biosignature. Detecting the biosignatures of planets can be difficult due to various restrictions and limitations of technology and distance, which is why this new discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope is so exciting. Since beginning science operations in July 2022, this telescope has also detected water and clouds on a gas giant exoplanet. This data means that James Webb is capable of detecting the faint chemical signatures that come from other planets and will therefore be able to aid scientists in their search for life on other planets. And while the telescope was not specifically built for this task, its ability to detect biosignatures is a huge leap forward in searching for life on planets closer to home. The James Webb Telescope captures Jupiter in a new light. JWST has proven to be very useful for scientists in more ways than one. In addition to its utility in detecting biosignatures of other planets, it has also captured beautiful new photographs of Jupiter. The telescope was built to deliver breathtaking images of faraway galaxies and regions, and while it has accomplished doing so, the newest images of Jupiter are hard to overlook. These images are interesting and different from those previously taken. 
The observatory's near-infrared spectrograph is a powerful technology that finds infrared light and reveals important information. It's the same technology that detected water and gas on the exoplanet so far away. Recently, JWST was directed at Jupiter so that scientists could gain insight into the planet using this newer technology. What it revealed was something they had never seen before. Two images through three filters, highlighting cloud bands, various storms, and auroral emissions. In these photographs, Jupiter's equatorial zone looks bright because the hazes have such high altitudes they reflect the sunlight, and the same is the case for Jupiter's red spot. Other areas containing small storms appear whitish or reddish white. On the other hand, the green and bluish colored areas are signals of clouds buried deep in the Jovian atmosphere, and they are a different color because of how the light reflects off of them. The significance of JWST comes also from its ability to capture the faint rings surrounding Jupiter alongside the planet itself, within the same image. Not only do the details of the clouds and storms on Jupiter's atmosphere remain, but despite it being a million times brighter than the rings, the rings are still apparent, as are two moons, which are faint but still visible in the photograph. Even the background of the image, which we might assume would be completely black and unimpressive, reveals further information about Jupiter and its surroundings. From small details, such as blurry spots of light that scientists think could be galaxies far away that photobombed the image, to the scattered light and diffracted spikes from Jupiter's aurorae and bright moon, the photograph is breathtaking both artistically and scientifically. The Fast-Growing Sunspot Sunspots are areas on the Sun that are highly magnetic in comparison to the rest of the Sun's surface and are about 2,500 times the magnitude of Earth. The strength of its magnetic field causes an increase of pressure in the spot and a decrease of pressure around it, which in turn decreases the temperature where the sunspot is. Sunspots usually occur in pairs that have polar opposite magnetic fields and are made up of a dark region referred to as the umbra and a lighter area around it called the penumbra. They usually look darker than the area around them because of the difference of temperature where the sunspot is as opposed to the rest of the sun's surface. While sunspots are not a new discovery to scientists, one particular sunspot gained the attention of skywatchers and astronauts aboard the International Space Station as it became larger and reached the sites of the Earth. Its size contributed to the effect that it had on Earth in turn, causing brief radio blackouts due to solar flares and plasma eruptions triggering aurora displays. The sunspot labelled AR3085 is one of six that are under observation on the disk of the Sun. Despite its size, weather forecasters and scientists alike were unconcerned with the sunspot, as the most it would likely be able to do is causing short-duration radio blackouts. Still, its rapid change in size signaled to the possibility of a coronal mass ejection, potentially triggering a geomagnetic storm. A CME is a burst of charged particles. Like sun flares, they are large explosions that occur on the sun's photosphere occurring near sunspots. These emit X-rays and magnetic fields that bombard Earth and are called geomagnetic storms. During these storms, there will typically be an increase in the visibility of the northern and southern lights, as well as disruptions to radio transmissions and power grids. In extreme instances, these storms can even cause damage to sophisticated electronics and technology by changing the polarity in satellites. To be safe, Scientists who pay attention to sunspots and sun flares are careful to reposition these devices to protect them from destruction. While the idea of a sunspot growing in size might initially seem as a cause for alarm, what it really means is that the aurora lights in the northern and southern hemispheres will become much brighter and more visible. But what are your thoughts on these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.